everyone, welcome back to Gypsy Fade Creations. It's feeling a little bit like spring today. It's still February, but it's 60 degree weather. Pouring down rain, but it's at least door open worthy weather. Um, anyway, in a previous video, you saw me unbox some Brambleberry fragrances that came out with a modern floral collection. And I want to take one of those fragrances today, specifically the baby's breath, and a technique I've used before. I made some gingerbread houses and they were crazy intricate detailed soaps um, with soap dough and icing and the whole nine yards of everything that I could possibly put on a soap. Um, and I'm going to make a fairy door slash house looking soap. Let's get started. with a little bit of sodium lactate down the kitchen vibrator and let's bring it to trace. Put that to the side. Um, I'm, I'm kind of trying to make what's supposed to look like a fairy house in a hill or a hole. So the colors that I'm going to do are like a green and a brown. And then I'm going to make all the pretty colors be like the flowers on the outside of it. Um, so I'm going to split this into two. Kind of want more brown than green. Um, the green I'm using is a Laurel Green Mica from Nurture Soap. The brown is a Mocha Brown Mica Powder also from Nurture Soap. I'm going to put some of that in here. give each one of these a whirl. So I'm done with this because I'm going to mix my fragrance in with my spatula. So I'm going to clean this off best I can. That's good. And then for the fragrance it's the Baby's Breath by Brambleberry. And it says it behaves well in cold process and it doesn't discolor. So I'm liking it already. Split that up in between these two. fragrance to use for this fairy soap. I was definitely look, looking for something floral um, and it just so happened that Brambleberry came out with this fragrance collection and it was just perfect timing and I couldn't help but buy all four of them because I couldn't decide which one I was going to like more. Um, Baby's Breath isn't exactly my favorite of the group but it's it's probably, probably like number three on the list. Um, I think I'm going to do a drop swirl with this. We'll see. No, I'm, I'm going to do it in the pot swirl. Alright, so let's mix up the green here. Also, um, if you follow my Instagram, I love subscription boxes and the newest one I've subscribed to is Alcrate and you'll also see a lot of my pictures on there. I'm a really big reader. I love books. I just collect books even if I don't read them. It's like a problem I have. I just like looking at them on my bookshelf and one day maybe I'll get around to reading them all. But right now you know when you have a full-time job and soaping um, as well you don't always have time for reading amongst you know adulting. Anyway, um, January's box was a Fearsome Fairy Tales 
me bring in for a closer look. And in that box was a lot of fairy tale themed um, trinkets and gifts and stuff, like Little Red Riding Hood and Rapunzel. And so this also plays into this soap a little bit, like perfect timing. Um, one of my favorite fairy tales is Thumbelina. It was a cartoon I watched a lot when I was younger. It was an actual movie. It was not Disney. I'm not quite sure exactly what it was, but it was not Disney. It was just like a little off-brand child's movie. But Thumbelina is my favorite, favorite fairy tale, and that kind of inspired this soap as well. Um, I also have a lot of different books like the Grimm's fairy tales and I collect children's books that are fairy tales hoping that one day when I have kids that I will be able to read them to um, my children you know do a little bedtime story because I wish that was done for me when I was little so it's kind of like an inspiration to do it um, for my children and I just love fairies in general. It's not just fairy tales. I, I have an obsession with fairies. Uh, I've even got a fairy tattoo. <laughs> not proud of it, but I do have one. All right, so I'm going to pour this into my mold here. And I'm actually not doing anything with the top of the soap. I'm just gonna leave it flat so that when I go to put the different vines and flowers and leaves on it. It'll it'll just look like a little fairy hill. So scraping out the bowl here. Give this a whack. Make sure all the air bubbles are out and everything is filled in. To give this a spray, a little spritz of isopropyl alcohol. And then I'm going to let it sit for like 24 to 48 hours. I'll come back to cut it and then I'm just going to decorate the top and the sides and the front. Sneak peek. All my little soap dough creations. I've made some like little soap fairy doors. I've got some leaves. I've made little mushrooms. I've got some flowers. And so we're just going to hook the soap up. It's going to be magical. Alright, back to cut this. And let's see what it looks like on the inside. Look at that. Those are some nice colors there. Even though some of it's going to get covered up with a fairy door. I'm going to add so much more to the soap. Because right now, it just it's a pretty simple bar. It's the only thing fancy about it, I guess, would that it, the colors I don't know like I could I could get away with this but I'm not it's just too simple for my taste I take it back on this scent by the way this um, baby's breath by Brambleberry when I first smelled it out of the bottle I thought it was it wasn't that strong it wasn't that impressive but now that it is in the soup, I like it a whole lot better. Still not one of my favorites of the modern floral collection, but I still like it a lot better than I did. Yeah. So while I'm doing this, I have my um, icings soap recipe sitting out. Um, so I'm going to get that together and put that in some icing bags with some different tips. Apply the doors and make this soap look fabulous. Okay, so I've got two different um, icing bags here that I've got set up. I've got a whole bunch of different kinds of tips to work with, some leaves, some grass, some ones to make vines with, 
and the adapter to go with one of the bags. I'm going to start by putting the doors on the front of each one of these soaps like that. And I'm going to use just a little bit of soap icing. too much Good luck with that one. Just try not to like that. You can probably use melt and pour as well to stick them on there, but one less step just using the icing that I have. And I gotta say, I'm really nervous about this soap. I'm not excited about it. Hopefully I'll, I'll be happy with the outcome of it, but I'm just a mess on how to get this soap to look like what I'm envisioning it in my head. Um, like I couldn't decide if I wanted to put the icing on and then cut it, or if I wanted to cut it and then put the icing on, or if I wanted to do both, and that just seemed like more work. <laughs> So this is what I came to, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it looks just as good. All right. Hopefully I don't need a lot of this. I'm only putting a little bit on each one. I'm hoping that it sticks on there and stays. I trust it more than the melt and pour anyway. It's like toothpaste. <laughs> it's like a tube of toothpaste. Some minty fresh. Anyone see a cat in that? Like that's the head and the ears. I'm gonna put it on this side. Let's save the cat face. Always play that game. Like what patterns look like what in the soap. Alright. Now that the doors are on, I'm gonna work with the top of it. And I want to start just by putting maybe a little layer on like that. And let's try this again. I'm just thinking about making some vines. Well, maybe not. All right, so I lied. What is going on with this thing? Yeah, all right, whatever. trouble with it. Anyway, um, got some leaves here to stick on. Got some mushrooms. To put on top. And just Add some flowers to it, like so. I can then take a different tip on it and make some leaves on the vines and hope, well, hopefully that looks better once I cover it up, like so. that. 
can take this other tip. So this is a pain in the butt, keep switching all these tips, but it's better than having like a whole bunch of icing to go back and forth on. And maybe add some grass. I don't know how much I like that. Maybe to the bottom. I like it on the bottom, maybe. Like that. And then I can keep adding flowers. And some more leaves. It's all right. I'm all right with this. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep adding different things to this, and hopefully it turns out looking more like a fairy door house. Oh, I put some glitter on there. So I'll keep working on these, and I'll come back and show you guys the final product because this is gonna take me a while. All right, not gonna lie, that was like the biggest soap mess that I have ever made. And I don't know how eager I am to ever try this again. <laughs> but that is what these guys look like. Soap! I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Um, stay tuned for some, some fun soap making videos, like this messy little fairy soap that I've made here. Questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. And if you guys are interested in getting your hands on one of these magic little fairy door soaps, they will be available in my Etsy shop on March 3rd. You can get one there. I don't know, they're kind of too pretty to use. <laughs> See you later guys!